Hello everyone. We're going to do a very quick revision on chapter 2 factors and multiples by using all these exercises. So the first one, state all the factors of 32. So in order to find the factors, we need to know that the factors of 32 are the numbers that can divide 32 completely. So if we let uh, 32 divide by 1, you get 32. 32 divide by what numbers? We can divide it completely. We start from 1. The next one will be 2. So you get 16. And then 32 divide by 3. Can, can it divide by 3? No. Can it be divided by 4? Yes. So when it divides by 4, you will get 8. And then 32 divided by 5. No. 6. How about 6? No. 7. No. Then uh, 8. So since 8 is already here, means 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. So it's the same thing here. So we stop here. And we take all the values. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So all these are the numbers that can divide 32 completely. So they are the factors of 32. So the answer is 1, 2, 4 here. And 8, 16, 32. 8, 16, and 32. Now we go to the next one, next question. Complete the steps to find the prime factors of 90 using the factor 3 method. So factor 3 means that this number divided into two of the factors of 90. So what number here? Multiply 15, you get 90. So you get your calculators, you get 90 divided by 15, you get 6. So 6 times 15, you get 90. So what number times 2? You get 6 is 3. What number times 5 you get 15 is 3. So that will be the answer. Next. Express 75 in the form of prime factorization. So in order to use this method, you need to divide 78 with prime numbers. So usually we start off with the smallest prime numbers, which is 2. So 78 divided by 2 is... Uh, 39 then can this number be divided by 2 no so we go on with the next prime number usually after 2 is we use 3 so 3 you get 33 divided by 3 is 13 can we divide the 13 with 3 no how about the next prime uh, the next prime numbers which is 5 can the 13 divide by 5 no and then uh, we go on from there then we know that the, the prime numbers that can divide 13 is actually 13 itself, which you get 1. So we take all the numbers here. So this number times this number times this number, you'll get 78. So how to write it in the form of prime factorization is 78 equals to 2 times 3 times 13. 2 times 3 times 13. This is prime factorization. We continue. Now, find the sum of all the prime factors of 84. So here we have, we need to find the factors of 84. And then from all the factors that we get, we need to find the factors which is the prime number. After that, we need to sum out all the prime number factors. Okay, so we start off using like the first uh, question here. We find all the factors of 84. Now, 84 divided by 1 is equal to 84. Eighty four divided by 8. 84 divided by 9. Cannot. 84 divided by 10. 11. And you get 12. So since 12 is already appeared here, so we don't have to continue. We just take all these values. All these values are all factors of 84. And among all these factors, which of these are prime numbers? So we have 2. So we write the 2 here. 3 prime numbers. 4, nope. 6, nope. 7. 84, nope. 42, no. 28, 21, no. 14, no. 
and uh, 12 is also not a prime number. So we now we need to sum out all the prime numbers. So 2 plus 3 plus 7, you get the answer is 12. Determine the highest common factor of 48, 60, and 84. So one of the most uh, common questions asks is to find highest common factor. So to look for highest common factor, we need to divide 48, 60, and 84 with prime numbers. So we always start with the smallest prime numbers. So we get, we use 2. Since all of these are even numbers, we use 2. So this is uh, 24, this is 15, this is 42. Then, uh, for highest common factor, you need to be able to divide all of the numbers at the same time. And you stop when you cannot divide all of the numbers at the same time. Okay, so now you see 24, 15, and 42 cannot be divided by 2. So we try the next prime number. Now, um, since all of these are multiples of 3, we divide by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 42 divided by 3 is 14. And among all these uh, numbers, I don't think we can divide them all together at the same time by using a prime number. So we stop here. We take 2 multiply with 3. So the highest common factor, or we we'll use HCF, is equal to 2 times 3. 2 times 3, which is 6.